I have a couple graphs here that, or images, I should say, not really graphs, that kind of outline this a little bit clearer, maybe. Um, just another way to see it. So in 6 8, we can have six eighth notes or two dotted quarter notes, right? Because each one of these is three eighth notes, right? And 6 4, also a compound meter, we, we would have six quarter notes because four is at the bottom, so six quarter notes, or two dotted half notes, right? Because each one of these is gonna equal three quarter notes. So this equals six quarter notes. Nine eight, we would have nine eighth notes or three dotted quarter notes. Um, hence, this would be called a triple meter because of that, and this would be called a duple meter because of that. This would also be called a duple meter, six four. 12 eight, we have 12 eighth notes or four dotted quarter notes, right? So this would be called a quadruple meter. So quadruple meter because of that, triple meter because of that, duple meter because of that. Here's another graph uh, or chart that, that lays this out kind of nicely. So in six eight beats per measure, now what they're calling the beat is this big dotted quarter note right? And then the division of the beat is the eighth note. So six, four, two beats per measure. The beat here is dotted half note and quarter notes are the division of the beat. Three quarter notes are the division of the beat. Nine, 16, three dotted eighth notes is the, is what gets the pulse and then the division of the beat is three sixteenth notes. Nine eight, three dotted quarter notes, and an eighth note, get three eighth notes gets the is the division of the beat. Twelve eight, there's going to be four dotted quarter notes because there will be twelve of these. Because here's another way you can think about this. This three eighth notes times this three times four equals this top number, right? So 12 eighth notes. Same deal here, 12, four would be four groups of three quarter notes or four dotted half notes because each one of these equals three of those. So a couple different ways to look at it. Hopefully that helps it sink in a little bit more. Now in the next video, let's go back to our green sleeves example and see if we can pick that apart a little bit.